Hey, Dr. Shoshani. Today I'm going to be doing a video for people that have vertigo, specifically BPPV, which stands for benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. The vertigo that is basically not due to a tumor. It's usually almost always due to deficits in the inner ear balance with the crystals inside of the ear. So there's a technique that I've been utilizing for close to 15 years. It's called the Epleza maneuver. I had a patient come in. She was having the vertigo due to the BPPV. So this patient presented with vertigo. Uh, what led me to do this video is I've been utilizing Epley's Maneuver in my practice for people that have vertigo in New York City for over 20 years. And I was so surprised that the doctor that she saw at Urgent Care didn't try to do this maneuver. They basically said, go on YouTube and find it and do it yourself at home. Uh, although you can do it yourself, it's better having someone know what they're doing, what they're looking for. So what I'm doing with her here is I'm using my finger to watch her eyes go in. And what we'll look for is almost always one of the eyes won't follow the pen and will fade a lot quicker and just kind of deviate away. So here I'm checking her and what I came up with is that her eye faded away to the left side. That's the position we're gonna start her in and that's the position usually the deficit is on that inner ear. We, we're starting by her head completely turned and we're bringing her down really fast and I'm looking for what's called an nystagmus. I'm looking to see how her eye is reacting. Almost always when I bring people in this position, they get really dizzy, they may wanna vomit. Having someone there that knows what they're doing to assure you that they're not gonna get hurt is beneficial. Then what we're gonna do is after 20 or 30 seconds, we're gonna rapidly turn her head the opposite direction. Wait 20 or 30 seconds, again, looking for that nystagmus in that left eye. Then we're gonna have her body match her head, rest there for 20 seconds, and then sit up and rest there for 20 seconds. I'll usually do this procedure two or three times until that nystagmus goes away. And again, as a chiropractor, I'm gonna always check the upper cervical spine, specifically C1, C2, because almost always when people have these problems, they have misalignments in their upper neck. So uh, the visit will con consist of chiropractic adjustment and Epley's maneuver. So usually what I notice is if someone's diagnosed with BP, PV, and they get the Epley's maneuver done, usually I don't do it more than two, three times max. Usually we see about an 85% reduction in the patient's symptomatology once the inner ear crystals are aligned properly. So if you can't find someone that's doing Epley's maneuver, it's something that you can do yourself, but again, it's something that's better with somebody that's trained to know what to look for. Often patients describe to me that it feels like the worst hanger the worst hangover of their life. Uh, they, they, it's like being seasick, so you're not knowing where your up or down is. The room tends to spin. You might have horrible headaches. So what we're looking for is imbalance. We're looking for feeling uneasy, almost like being in a rocking boat and not being able to walk straight and just wanting to sit down and sit still. So if it's this type of vertigo, BP, PV, it's easily treated with Epley's maneuver. Now there's other things that could cause vertigo. That's why it's important to see your doctor to diagnose it because if it's not BP, PV, Epley's will not help. It might be something a little bit more, a little deeper or a little more organic. So that's why it's good to go to a doctor, get diagnosed and get treated properly. So if you're experiencing vertigo due to BP, BV and you're in New York, give me a call. I've been doing it for 15 to 20 years. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to subscribe comment. There'll be a link below. Until next time, signing off for now, Dr. Shoshani.